Come back into 145, 150s. I've taken the 150 a couple of times. 650, number two, Black Highest out from 550, and $9 then for number eight, Himmy Black. So it's all the rage here, Lucky Onyx, well into the red. It's had the two stars for two seconds at Canberra and gets its chance to break through, stepping up in trip. One into the boxes, set for the second. Ready? Racing now, clear last out, Fancy Max out wide on the track, Irish fire away nicely over Himmy back and there goes Lucky Onyx driving along the inside, he's going to run to the lead at the first corner, the favourite over Irish fly, Himmy Black and Fancy Max making ground after a slow start, Lucky Ruby here was next from Black Ice and Mally Pearl with Sid the Weapon tailed off in the straight, Lucky Onyx travelling, it's out by four, Fancy Max has run a huge race, he won't get Lucky Onyx and Lucky Onyx by a length and a half, Fancy Max, third very tight, maybe Mally Pearl and nose on either Black Ice or Lucky Ruby, then Himmy Black, a break into the field then to uh, Irish Fire and Sid the Weapon was the uh, tail end of the time recorded, 25 and 40. Number three, Lucky Onyx, too good. The odds on favourite, 150 and 120 is by collision out of Jay's Robin, raced by Mark McClellan, trained by J.D. Lord. Second goes to number four, Fancy Max. It's been a huge run to get second, Kevin Clune. And number two, third, Black Heist. In a very tight go for the Miners, trained by Leonard Holmes. And number eight, Himmy Black has ended up running four, three, four, two and eight. And Melly Pearl would have been on a nose away in fifth placing, so there was very little between that trio. 584, 1134, the sectionals. 2540 was the overall time. Uh, 1406 to run home, and the margins are about to come through. One and a half by five and a quarter. A length and a half by five and a quarter. 3428 on race number two.